Hi, welcome to Movie Review Mom. If you were wondering about watching the movie The Class, and if it is the new modern version of The Breakfast Club, stay tuned, keep watching. The Class is a coming of age movie that was recently released in theaters and simultaneously on video on demand. It is PG-13 and is an hour and 54 minutes. And the movie review mom grade I'm giving it is a C minus. Now keep watching and I'll explain why. And that's probably your tip that this is no breakfast club. <laughs> so in a nutshell, this coming of age film is about a group of high school seniors forced to spend a Saturday at school completing an exam they missed taking or previously failed. By the end of the day, they find their own values, betrayals, and love within themselves and their classmates. The movie was written and directed by Nicholas Salozzi. Based on their last names, it appears that the director's daughter is one of the cast members. The famous teen movie, The Breakfast Club in 1985 was clearly the inspiration for this film. Sadly, it doesn't have the magic or the charm of that famous John Hughes movie. However, there were some things that I really liked about the movie, such as uh, there are a few moments with the cast. Debbie Gibson plays the incredibly patient, compassionate high school teacher. Young moviegoers probably won't know that in real life, she was a hugely popular singer in the 1980s. She's now 52 years old and looks fantastic. Anthony Michael Hall is a fun addition to this teen angst movie because he was a common face in a bunch of those successful John Hughes movies of the 1980s. Hannah Keppel is beautiful and has a beautiful singing voice. What a pleasant surprise. She sings a little tune for us. Teenagers nowadays face increasingly difficult issues in a very complicated world. So the film addresses today's issues for teens like coming out, abortion, family drama, friendship, preparing for college, popularity, health, drugs, and more. Most teens just want to be seen and understood while they're trying to figure out who they are. We definitely see that in this movie. And so I think this film will resonate with a lot of teens who are currently going through all of those things. However, there were some things I didn't like about the movie. For example, there are, most of the teenagers are just super annoying. <laughs> There's a lot of hair tossing and acting out and uh, just focused all on themselves. Now that describes the typical teenager. Um, but I wanted them to be more charming and endearing, so I rooted for all of them. It took me a while. I did eventually warm up to them, and I think most audiences will do to the writing and the way that we get to know them and uh, what they're each going through personally. I thought it was hilarious when one of the characters pulled this gigantic pill bottle out of her jacket as if anyone would carry. I mean, I'm talking gigantic pill bottle, you know, like they would carry that around. Surely she could have put the few pills that she needed during the day in that little thing and put that in a pocket, you know, to be discreet. But she pulls out this giant bottle and I literally laughed out loud. There's a lot more drama than comedy in this movie. Act one has more comedy and then it gets very heavy. The, the comedy that is there just doesn't really land. All of the characters cry and spill their beans and their guts quite easily because, you know, teenagers. <laughs> There's some bad editing and some transition moments that I went, ooh. <laughs> it's weird how the teacher just kept leaving the class, abandoning her students. Now, maybe she wanted to give them privacy to work on their assignments. However, it was established in the beginning of the movie that these were flunking students who needed extra guidance and support. Of course, it plays into the movie so that, you know, the adults can conveniently leave while the kids run amok and get into trouble and have their heart to hearts and all that kind of stuff. But I thought the more powerful moments really were when uh, the adults were in the room and connecting for the first time with those students. Let me give you some tips for parents. Uh, there is profanity, including F-bombs. A guy brings a bong to a class. A guy drinks alcohol at school. Teens flip the bird. There's violence, you know, fisticuffs. There's talk of death and suicide. A teenage girl wears a bustier and 
super short shorts at school, which is inappropriate and she's scantily clad. Some of the themes that are illustrated very well are high school life, lack of motivation, drama class, abortion, alcoholism, rejection, abandonment, judging others, racism, creating safe spaces, how we affect each other, being your yourself and supporting one another. All right, so I always write down funny lines and interesting lines on my written review at moviereviewmom.com. But as I said, I didn't write down anything that was funny because nothing made me really laugh as it being clever other than, you know, that girl pulling the gigantic bottle out of her jacket. <laughs> but let me share some interesting lines with you. So Max, who's played by Colin McCullough says, we're all born with something, something inside that makes us different. And I think that those teenage years absolutely are all about figuring out what makes you unique, just like everybody else. But you know what I mean, trying to figure out who you are and where you fit into the world. And for some of us, it takes much longer than high school. Then there's an interesting conversation between, um, I don't know if he's the principal or he's just sort of the counselor on campus that day on Saturday assigned to babysit the kids. And he's having a debate with the teacher who's played by Debbie Gibson. And she's so patient and kind and uh, forgiving with these students. And he says, I call that handholding. And then she says, I call that teaching. And so it's really interesting to watch their different leadership styles with these kids that definitely need their guidance. And so that would be an interesting conversation to have with your kids if you watch this with them. Later, another one of the students named Michael, played by Michael Sebastian, says to the teacher and the, uh, the counselor guy, you teach us how to read, but you don't teach us how to live. And wow, I absolutely echo that sentiment. Um, when I was in high school, you know, I learned all the stuff you're supposed to learn, but there was one elective class called Living on Your Own that I thought was fantastic and absolutely should have been required. It wasn't, it was an elective, but we learned how to balance a checkbook, how to grow, go to the grocery store and shop and compare prices and products. We planned a wedding. We rented an apartment. We learned life skills. And I just thought, you know, that should be required in high school because sadly, a lot of students just don't get that from their parents. And so they don't get it at all. And uh, other than the streets and, you know, hard, hard knocks of life. And that's how they learn. Uh, all right, so let me give you some recommendations for some other movies that are sort of similar that you might also really like and probably like better. The first one being, of course, The Breakfast Club. It was just a classic and still goes on uh, being a popular movie that uh, older people who grew up with it love to rewatch and newer audiences fall in love with. Then the second one is my all-time favorite from the 80s, 90s, and that is Ferris Bueller's Day Off. So fun. I've seen that one a million times over. And they both illustrate high school life and trying to figure out all of those things that we do as young adults. All right. Thank you so much for watching this movie review. Please subscribe and give the video a thumbs up. That helps spread YouTube magical fairy dust all over my channel. And I am trying so hard to grow this channel. Also, while you're at it, click on that little bell notification because it'll let you know every time I upload a new movie review or trailer reaction or documentary analysis. And I post something every single day. So I look forward to seeing you again. Bye for now.